Hi, I'm Andy from Anik Gin. I'm down here at the Potting Shed down in Anik Gardens, based in central Anik. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make a very, very quick Anik Lady cocktail for you. Now, the Anik Lady cocktail is uh, one of the cocktails that you can make with the uh, Valentine's gift that we currently got on special offer on our website. So it, it, it combines some of the essences of Northumberland that we've got. So we've got Anik Gin and also Fentiman's Tonic. Now, Anik Gin, the key flavors in there are juniper, fennel, rosehip, and lavender. And then within the uh, Fentiman's Pink Grapefruit Tonic Water, your kefir lime leaves, juniper, and orris root. Now, those blend very, very well with the citrus within grapefruit and also the smoothness that's provided by, that's provided by the rosemary, which is also in Anik Gin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rust up a quick pink lady so you can see how it goes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some rosemary. I'm just going to quickly bash that, give it a good smack in. And what that does is it releases the flavors within the rosemary itself. Okay, so I'm going to pop that into our Boston shaker. The next thing I'm going to do very, very quickly is I'm just going to cut a section out of uh, a grapefruit that we've got here. One of the things I'm going to do is just give it a quick roll around. It's probably easier to do that before you cut it. Give it a quick roll around just to release the flavors. And what that does is it breaks up the outer pith on the fruit itself. It works with limes and also with oranges. Just to release that extra little bit of zest, extra little bit of flavor. So I'm going to cut a section of that. And what I'm going to do is drop that in the Boston shaker. So what I'm going to do is take a muddler, just ever so quickly give out a quick, quick squish, quick muddle. Make sure all those flavors, those beautiful flavors are mixed up and ready to go. On top of that, I'm going to drop some ice. And what this does is it chills the drink down when you mix it. Gives a much cooler flavor within the glass. It also means that you don't need to put ice into the glass afterwards if you don't want to. What I'm then going to do is take 50 mils of uh, Anik Gin like our cocktails nice and strong. So I'm just going to drop that into there. Okay. Being careful not to waste a drop because it's good stuff. What I'm then going to do is add some of the Fentiman's pink grapefruit to taste. Now with this, I reckon it's going to be between 50 to 150 milliliters, depending on personal taste. And that's just what it is, personal taste. So it's entirely up to you and what you want to achieve uh, from your cocktail. So what I'm then going to do is take the lid, making sure that the cap is firmly on there. Place that onto the shaker and just give it three very, very quick shakes just to mix it up over the ice and to aerate the drink. So it's going to be one, two, three. Okay. What I'm then going to do, open the top, take a piece of rosemary. Again, beat it to release the flavor. I'm going to drop that in as a garnish. I'm then going to take a Hawthorne strainer, put that on top of the shaker, and then just drain the cocktail into the glass. So there's your pink lady. Almost complete. There's that. Place that to the side. I'm then going to take a little sliver of grapefruit, a little slice in there, and then add that as a garnish. And there you have your finished Anik Lady with Anik Gin. Thank you for watching.